I didn't know that I was transgender, but I knew that I was different. One year and a half ago, I was here at this hospital for a gender reassignment surgery. And now I came back to have a voice feminization surgery. I am nervous. Wow. It's two hundred and twenty to be heard <gasps> out of your watch you can see. Growing up as a child, I was always in touch with my feminine side. I didn't know that I was transgender, but I knew that I was different. Other people knew that I was different. My family, friends, the boys at school who used to physically bully me only because I was different. I wasn't like them. These people realized that I was a transgender. I started my transition process three years ago. Uh, one year and a half ago, I was here at this hospital for a gender reassignment surgery. And today, Jessica has come back for a consultation regarding a face and voice feminization surgery. At the moment, I am at Como Hospital here in Bangkok. Como Hospital, it is a hospital specialized in transgender men and transgender women. They perform all surgeries required to someone who is transitioning, like myself. <sighs> Doctor, thank you again. It's wonderful to see you after one year. So I really want to have a obviously more feminine face and I would like you to really cut the bone and make it really small and on my chin, pointy. Pointy? Yeah, shave here a lot, like cut here, so it becomes like this. And after the surgery, after cutting the bone, here's gonna become more soggy, look. Can you do a mid facelift on the same day? Before, okay. okay. Yeah. Jessica is now back at the hospital ready for her surgery and has brought along her close friend Darcy for support. I met Darcy here at the Kamal Hospital facilities. Darcy is a transgender woman like myself. She's from England, but she lives here in Thailand. And we became friends. We have a lot in common and she's very helpful. How are you feeling? Oh gosh, Darcy, I'm just so excited about this surgery. Today is the very last day of my life that I'm actually going to be sound and look like this. The voice, it's, it's life changing. I mean, you can't talk for one week, so, you know, it's a little bit difficult, but, you know, you, you'll manage. And then um, face is a bit swollen, but the results are just life-changing. Nobody sees the nobody really sees breasts, but rightly or wrongly, you're judged on your face and your voice, so. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I'm very nervous, but at the same time, very excited because I know that I'm in very good hands, in the hands of Dr. Kamal for my face removal surgery and my face sleeves, but also in the hands of a Dr. Dream who's gonna perform my voice feminization surgery. It has now been eight days since Jessica had her surgery, and today is the first time that she is speaking with her new voice. <gasps> Darcy! Jessica! It's wonderful to see you! Oh my god! So, how does it sound? Oh my god. How does it sound? It sounds amazing. Oh my god. Oh, so wonderful to see you. Come here, sit next to me. Okay. So, um, I've had this surgery as well. So, I'm going to give you like a couple of tips, okay? So, what you need to do is find a level and you have to hum like mm, because the, the low range is now gone. You know you can't do the male range anymore. So it's like you've got a, like a new instrument and you have to kind of learn to use it. Mm, my name is Jessica. It's kind of similar to that. Kind of a little bit higher. Can you go? My name is Jessica. Yeah. Gosh, that's strange. How do you feel? I feel amazing, Darcy. Yes. I feel so feminine. Not only my appearance, my looks, but I feel so much more female now. Where before, my voice didn't match to my appearance. Since I transitioned, it's a new life. My life has changed completely in every single way. And not just my appearance, the way that I look and the way that I feel, but everything around me has changed. Darcy, so actually, 
Today is the first day that I'm going to be seeing the surgeon who performed the voice feminization surgery and I'd love you to come with me. Oh, thank you. We have really helped each other a long way. I mean, transition is quite a difficult process. You know, you do a surgery and the results aren't instant. They're never instant and it's quite stressful. Hello, Hello hi Jessica. Lovely to see you. Okay. How are you? I'm okay. Okay. Can you sit here? Sure, okay. yeah. Don't sit down. <laughs> right, so today is the first day that I speak after our voice surgery. Wow, Jessica. I think your voice is gonna be improved and a swelling process as uh, you saw. Okay, let's show this guy. One, two, three. Over the hill, over dale, through bush, through brea, over park, over pale, through flood, through fire. Wow, it's 223 <gasps> hertz of your body it's so thing. <laughs> Oh my god, doctor, I'm so happy with the results. Mm. It mm. is a woman's voice. Yes, the, the average of all the main voice frequency is just around 100 to 120 hertz. And the average of the female's voice frequency is above uh, 190 hertz to 220 like this. <gasps> yeah. Uh. <laughs> My message to any transgender people is that there is no right age to transition. You can transition at any age, but there is the right time in life. Transitioning, it's not a choice. Transitioning, it is a duty to yourself. We have two trans kids. Anyone can be whoever they want. I'm just owning it. Our family is seen to be very unconventional. So I had kids and I can't be hot anymore. Like, moms are hot too. People say I look like a thug, but I love thugs. I take that as a compliment. I'm bored of people thinking that I cannot be intimate. I'm a young, single, hot piece of disabled booty. I feel like I'm going to look at myself and be like, who is that? Life is way too short to be hiding. It is my story. It is my truth.